Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is L.A. Noir. Before we jump back into it, just a quick reminder, you are an awesome person. So, keep being awesome to others, okay? Alright, let's jump in and see what the next case is going to be like, shall we? Nicholson Electroplating. Okay. Agency Jack. There's a statewide APB out on it. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. How do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathing down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side right now. Christ, what was that? Ooh. Something big. You think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. Holy shit. shit. All units, all units, report to an explosion. New location, alternative location is south of Santa Monica. West of, uh, stand by her further. All units, car 88K reports an explosion. What inside of the hell? We have looters around the corner. Cut them or put them down. We need to get this area under control. Nope. You turned around and shot at me, bud. <laughs> if you had just kept on running, I would have just given you a warning shot, but instead you did that. Jesus. I never seen nothing like this. Yeah, no kidding. Like a bomb's gone off. What'd they do? Drop a five hundred pounder? Poor people. We gotta find out what went down. This isn't natural gas, this is something bigger. at the remains of Nicholson electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion. I'm only guessing. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with it. Nicholson electroplating. Hmm. Worlds turn upside down, cool. Then it's time for us to do our jobs. Is there anything in the electroplating process that would separate out hydrogen? maybe enough hydrogen built up somehow that it caused it you know hit a spark and that's what caused it to happen I'm I'm purely guessing right now I mean this is crazy and where do you even begin to look in someone like this? Wow, that was athletic.
going around over here. Okay. Let's see what that did for me. Is there anything over here? here for a while. But I don't see what he's examining. I don't see anything over there. What on earth? Like, I have no idea how to start investigating a crime scene this big. Investigation music stopped when I went that far. Is there something over this way? Yeah, it's still playing music. That's good. Oh, got a piece of a shirt. Something, I guess. Anything else? Detective, you seen this yet? Come take a look. No, I have not seen this yet. What is this? Threw the locker open, but shielded the contents. Let's see what we got in here. Interesting. So that's a. Sp OSS agents use these things. We'll need to get the film developed to see if there's an espionage angle. Any ideas, Herschel? None that I care to utter for public consumption. Tamako Akamato. Japanese name. No, I already, I already looked at that. This looks like a what cipher. Is? A substitution cipher. The Germans used them in the war. These are cipher rings. You know what to do with them? Maybe. I used them in OCS. These first letters are the cipher key. The rest of the message should align itself. Okay, so... H equals K. So then from there, if I bring it around to that. In. Hang on. I need something to write on. Because I'm not going to be able to remember this. Uh, 
Give me one quick second, y'all. Get her handy dandy writing tablet thingamajig. All right, so. K would equal N. Oh, I was putting it up there in the left corner for me. Duh. Yes, I can. Excellent. O would give us R. What does J give us? M. L. Gives us O. K gives us another N. Q. Gives us a T. North Vermont. XSB. So X gives us an A. S gives us a V. I guess B is going to give us an E. Yep. It's an address. 133 North Vermont Avenue. Interesting. Very interesting. Is this some kind of, like, Japanese sleeper agent? Well, that wouldn't make any sense, because this is, what, three years after the war? It already ended? Ooh, that's a person's arm next to a holy Bible. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. And that's a leg. Yeah, let's, let's... Let's not touch the body parts. More body parts. Oh. Holy crap. That's a part of a body there. Okay, it did fork off. Wait, wait. Something. What is this? It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. Okay. Fair enough. What all else is there? I thought four Vix was a tough break. Yeah, this is crazy. W Wasp Major R4360. I say this is not the case I was expecting. I was expecting we were going to be chasing after the stuff with the uh, redevelopment fund. This is a whole lot bigger and nastier. So 
We got the deciphered message, airplane part, espionage camera with the spy camera and the laundry tag, yeah. But like, what else am I supposed to find here? This isn't one of those we just went through it real fast. This is one of those like you're gonna be investigating for months. It's just somebody's shoe. Optimistic call. Yeah. It's one of those trash clues that don't really matter. I feel like there's something else I'm supposed to do here. That's it, Mr. Mayor. We're wrapped. Well, good. Thank you very much, son. I think it went okay. A couple of pickups, sir, but that's to be expected. Nobody's ever done this before. We'll get better with practice. That maybe goes for me too, son. Maybe a more somber. What do you think, son? Uh, no, Mr. Mayor. You came across as. Um, very resolute. Yeah, very resolute for somebody who was probably involved with it in the first place. So you have anything for me? This is crazy. Looks like a war zone. See what you can scrape together. Weird there's nobody for me to talk to here. I'm What's up with this person? This is your place? Oh. What's left of it? Okay. 32 years of work up in smoke. Can you tell us what happened? Our, uh, Chief Chemist Harold McClellan was using this area to test the, the new process. What exactly is this new process? Uh, that's uh, classified information, son. Classified or you just don't know? I don't think you're being truthful with me, sir. A lot of people died here, Mr. Vickers. I'm prepared to go to the press and tell them it was your fault. What is the new process? A way to chemically polish aluminum. It's traditionally done by hand. It's extremely labor-intensive. The process could be worth millions. Which is why you didn't want to deal with it. Who is it? Tomiko Akapon? Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. She came highly recommended. Really? Um. Akamato was involved in industrial espionage. Was she working for you or for a foreign government? That's a ridiculous assertion. How can you possibly say she was a spy? <laughs> Hmm. Well, the fact that she had a spy How many camera. Other employees carry spy cameras in their handbags. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, she was selling me out. If she wasn't a foreign spy, who could she have been working for? It could be other plating companies. But the big customers for the process are the aircraft manufacturers. Lockheed, Boeing, Hughes, North American. Interesting. Okay. What can you tell us about McClellan? A brilliant chemist. He approached me a few months ago with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but it is legitimate research. Be 
You don't seem to be able to handle eye contact very well there, sir. Why don't I believe you? So you thought McClellan could do what no one else did? You were going <clears throat> to take that risk. Look, he is a... was a trained chemist. And his ideas could revolutionize electroplating. Mm. And you would be rich. I'm a businessman. What's wrong with turning a buck? You blew up six blocks. God knows how many people are dead. I regret that. That's laudable. <laughs> You'll be in touch, Mr. Nicholson. Well, that's can laudable. You send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamato's personnel files. I will if I can find them. By the way, we also found the collar of a shirt. It has a laundry tag. You're likely to be Dr. McClellan. And the majority of people who work here don't use a laundry service. Yeah. Wow. So all because you wanted to make a quick buck, you managed to destroy multiple city blocks. Alright, first things first, we need to drive around a little bit and find a phone. So I can get that superior laundry place's address. Surely there's a phone around here somewhere, right? Man, this explosion was massive. You think blowing one up in smoke? She's still alive. You could ask the same question about Tom Glockabato. I guess she could. You got an answer? Not yet. But I'm working on it. Is that one of the phone boxes right there? I think it is. Good, because they just started playing music, too. Let's get ourselves an address for this place. Detective Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Can you speak to someone at the Army Air Force Base for me, please? Of course, Detective. Tell them I have what I believe is an aircraft part. It's polished metal, light for its size. It looks like a cone of some sort. It's stamped on the inside. P&W Wasp Major R4360. I'll get back to you, Detective, when you check in for messages. Anything else? I need an address for Superior Laundry Services. Closest store to your location is in Wilshire. 4766 Melrose Avenue. Thanks for your help. Always so polite. Let's go ahead and set that as a location. Let's see what they can tell us. Now, is this going to be playing music again? Yep. You know the way. You can drive. Come on, Herschel. You drive us. Interior Laundry, Melrose. Okay. Person just awkwardly standing in the front of it for some reason, but sure. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but whatever. What do you need? I just need to look at your registry. Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. Why is he so rude? Number one, uh, J2620, Cole. 2620. Who is Oscar Hangstrom. Could be someone else from the factory. Does he have an address? No. Dead end. Thank you for all your help, sir. Interesting. There was a phone here. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Is there anything useful I can get from that? Old Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? I 
need an address for an Oscar Hangstrom. Thanks, man. Interesting. So, phony name and no address. Well, well, well. Uh, let's see here. I guess that address we deciphered. North Vermont Avenue? I guess we need to go there and check what's going on with it that way. Alright, what's on the radio this time? with this music on. Beep, beep, do you too. Any sentry, uh, any sentry, in a 211 in progress, 522 South Hill Street, unit to handle code 3, identify. Where is that at? Oh, wow, that's way down. Yeah, nope, that's not happening. Not when we're as close to the deciphered address as we are. Sorry guys, you'll have to uh, handle that crime on your own. Still not a huge fan of this car, it has to be said. I don't hate it as much as I used to, but I'm still not a big fan. Very twitchy, considering that it's the size of a small boot. ahead. Yes. Well, well. Is the door wide open? And the place has been tossed. Time to turn the place over. You better watch your step. Well, doesn't look like anything. Yeah, I mean, there's evidence the liquor cabinet got thrown apart. Is Biggs? Sure. The department gives you one of those when you retire. So why did she have one? Or did the person tearing this place apart happen to be a retired LAPD cop? Oh hey. Looks like we have a match. document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail rod must have amazing eyesight eh, no they, they make special readers for that
sure this means much. I don't know. It might. She got microfilm pieces hidden inside of her freaking earrings. Never know what she could do with a hairbrush. appear to be connected. Uh, that's a good catch. It's a nice size blood stain. The refrigerator's open. Oh. Well, hello. You think I could fit in there? I couldn't fit in there. I'd like to think you would have had something more to say about getting shoved in a fridge, Herschel. Got a ring. What's that from? Class ring. Okay, class ring. Interesting. One to the head, one to the heart. Point blank. Is he missing a tie clip? Edge 525. I'll need a couple of black and whites at 133 North Vermont Avenue, Wilshire. We'll need an ambulance in the corner. Probably a team from technical services as well. Do I have any messages? Operator, give me R and I. Detective Phelps, batch 1247, messages please. You need to call Ray Pinker urgently. Can you put me through? It's ringing now. We're on our way in. Nick's that. I got a message from Lindbergh Field. An airplane tech there identified your part. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner from either a Corsair or a B-50. A what? Fits over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. So it's a military part. Could be, but get this. The Spruce Goose runs eight Wasp R4360s. I think you better get over there and check it out. We're on it. Huh, okay. So I guess we're just leaving the body there. Cool. So now we need to go to Hughes Aircraft. That'll be what we do next time. Interesting little episode here. Uh, definitely not what I was expecting. Like I said, I I thought we were going to keep going after the uh, the other members of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, not deal with a massive explosion that seemed to take out several blocks of L.A. That was unusual. Still not sure what would have set that off. Said he was trying to chemically polish aluminum. Aluminum's not a very reactive material. So, hmm. I don't know how they managed to do that, but all right. Apparently, whatever the process was, it was really not a good process. <clears throat> I guess we'll find out more about that in the next episode, though. So, if you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. Keep the YouTube overlords happy. If you want to see what's going to happen next, well, you need to be subscribed. That way, whenever I put up a new video, you get a little notification. 
So, until next time, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember, life does get rough sometimes. So, good luck, have fun, stay awesome. Catch you in the next one.